With the 97th pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Los Angeles Chargers select Trey McKitty, tight end, Georgia. Welcome to Chargers Unleashed. Jake Hefner and Dan Wolkenstein here with you from the LA Football Network. Dan, we got a very, very special guest joining the show today. But before we even start talking about said individual, how are you doing today, sir? Man, I am good. I am good. The sun is shining here in Southern California. Uh, we've had a crazy last few months, few weeks, few days. And we're just going to keep riding this high. Not going to lie. I'm going to use that again. Oh, um, geez. Is, those... that gonna a, is that going to be a thing now? <laughs> no, I, I honestly... I saw that comment on Twitter. I know you mentioned that. Uh, little phrase of yours during our hundredth episode, but is th- is that going to turn into like your Walter Cronkite catchphrase now? I hope not. It just slipped off. I the really tongue. hope I'm not sorry. either. I know. I hope. I not. really hope not either. At least if you're going to do it, just pick one word, and then every week just pick another word to rhyme with it. It's like benchmark, <laughs> and then go on another word. Lobster bisque. There we go. Something okay. like that. Yeah. All right. Fine. Uh, for those who have not been here or seen us before, welcome to Chargers Unleashed. You can find us on Twitter, on YouTube. On Twitter, you can find us at LAC underscore Unleashed. YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts. You can find Jake, my dear friend over here, at Jake T. Hefner. On Twitter, myself, at Chargers Homer. Jake, you mentioned it just a second ago. We have eclipsed the 100th episode mark. How does that make you feel? It finally happened. Um it was kind of the, I, as it got closer to the draft, I knew it was coming. And I kind of thought to myself, I said, did we record 100 episodes already? And it turns out we didn't. And then the schedule release, I know I, we forgot to mention it in there. That was actually our 100th episode, which is, uh, it's insane. So a little over a year of partnering with you and doing this show and this podcast. And uh, yeah, it's been a good little ride. Look at us. Look at us. I got a few more gray hairs, not because of you, but because of the Chargers. <laughs> but, some, pe- some people got gray hairs from me. I guarantee uh, it. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. So, yeah, so we have a fun show today. You mentioned it, special guest. Um, Chargers have had a pretty good draft haul, I think people have realized. Uh, we just got done talking with our friend Asante Samuel Jr. If you haven't got a chance to listen to that, go listen, watch. He was amazing. But Jake, today we get to talk to another one, friend of the show, the 97th overall pick of the 2021 NFL Draft from Georgia. Mr. Trey McKitty is joining us on Chargers Unleashed today. How are you feeling about this? Excited about this one. You know, this was this was one of the more, I don't want to say, I'm, I'm trying to make it, I'm just trying to make it. I guess not even, not even to say as much questionable, but I think this is one that a lot of Chargers fans and players would probably just want to know more about Trey McKitty in this situation because, you know, he wasn't a guy that put up huge stats at Georgia, but the athleticism and the base of talent that the Chargers saw in him in the third round where they really feel like they can unlock and in a tight end class that currently houses now including Trey McKitty now four on the roster, but you don't know what's going to happen with Jared Cook beyond his one-year deal. My guess is that he won't last beyond the one-year deal with this roster. If Donald Parham does not end up being what you thought he was two years ago, maybe you go beyond that. You could actually be in a position here to start the 2022 season where Trey McKitty is your number two tight end. It's, um, it's pretty wild. I think a lot of folks knew that the Chargers needed to get a tight end specifically for blocking. And they honestly, I think, got one of the best run blocking tight ends in this draft class. You mentioned it. Not a ton of production. Not his fault due to the quarterback play, due to to the scheme. But man, Trey McKinney's got a lot of people excited. A lot of people excited. Great catches during senior week. Dude, he was balling. He was mauling people during senior week. I saw a few one-handed grabs. I was like, oh, okay. I see you, Trey. So yeah, so we'll be having Trey McKitty coming up on Chargers Unleashed. So folks, don't wait any longer. Here is our conversation with the newest Los Angeles Charger from Georgia, Trey McKitty, the tight end on the Los Angeles Chargers. Coming up next. 
Well, we have had quite the offseason with lots of buzz and excitement around this Chargers team, so we figured we'd just keep that excitement rolling on today's Chargers Unleashed because we have a very, very special guest joining the show today, newly signed member of the Los Angeles Chargers, the 97th pick overall of the 2021 NFL Draft, one of two Georgia Bulldogs drafted by the Chargers, one of the more athletic cats at his position coming out of the draft. On Twitter, you can find him at T underscore McKitty. Braden and Florida's own Matri- wow, Mr. Trey McKitty. Trey, thank you for coming on to Chargers Unleashed. How are those Cali vibes treating you so far? Uh, thanks for having me. And uh, so, so far, so good. The weather's been great these last couple of days, so uh, enjoying it. There we go. There we go. Now, we're going to talk about all kinds of topics today. We're going to talk about the new coaching staff, the tight end group, your time at Georgia and Florida State, you know, what what you bring to this Chargers team, maybe get into some rapid fire questions. Who knows? But first, what was it like on draft day? What was going through your mind as day two started when you eventually got your name called by the Chargers in the third round at 97? Right. Um, At the beginning of the day, I was kind of, you know, relaxed, trying to you know, keep my nerves at ease. Um, but as I got like towards later in the day where I knew I can go in the third round, um, the anxiety started kicking a little bit. And, um, you know, when my phone finally rang, my heart just dropped. I just saw LA on the, um, on the caller ID. So, uh, you know, I was excited. It was a great moment. Um, you know, I definitely not won't forget. When you saw the, when you saw the, the area code for LA, like what was your immediate thought? It was, well, I was surprised first. Cause I really didn't like, have an idea that I was coming out here. Um, but I, I, cause I was watching it obviously and it's all they had um, a pick coming up. So I just got really excited as soon as the phone rang. So, okay. So you, you got picked. What was it like afterwards? What was that night? Like bring us into your circle. How'd you celebrate? Like who was with you? What was on the food? What was, what was your thoughts before you went to bed? Right. Um, so I was just with my family, uh, family and close friends. And, that like right after it happened, I ran around the house screaming or whatever, but I had to do uh, media. So I was trying to do like media, like in the, like a Zoom call and I was getting like a million phone calls, like back to back to back to back. And it ended up like logging me out of my, uh, my interview at the time actually. But oh, no. um, after that really just, just hung out with the family. Like it was, it's still even today, like it still hits me in spurts. Like it just feels so real that, you know, surreal that I'm here and, you know, still trying to enjoy it. And what did you have for food? That's the most um, important question. I don't even. I didn't even eat anything after. <laughs> I was I was too excited to eat. I didn't eat after. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> now, Trey, uh, you know when you were, go, let's go back to Georgia for a second. When you were at Georgia, your number was called. You you balled out and executed well when when you were called upon. And although you weren't necessarily the focal point of the offense, you showed up and balled out when when your number was called. So how do you feel that your experience at Georgia set you up for NFL success? Um, really, I think the whole, I think my whole college experience kind of set me up. I got to play a lot of ball at Florida state and then just transitioning to a new system at Georgia, I think really just helped me, you know, I mean, I have to transition to a new, um, a new offense here. So I really just, the all the coaching changes I had at Florida state and all the different times I've had to learn new offenses and things going to help me, you know, moving forward in the NFL. Um, and, you know, that Georgia this past year, our offensive coordinator was a was a pro guy, too. So, you know, kind of getting used to that. Um, so, yeah. Now, let's step away from football for a second. Off the field, who is Trey McKitty? What are some of your passions or maybe some things about you that folks might not know about? Um, definitely a passion. Uh, I'm a pilot. I, I do some flying when I have the time. I um, want to continue doing that moving forward. And also, I'm a huge, I'm a huge car guy. Uh, I enjoy cars, Formula One racing, all that kind of stuff. Um, uh, so yeah, that's me off the field. Got it, got it. Well, uh, do you have any destination dreams that you want to fly to? Fly myself to? Yes, sir. Um, there's so many places I want to go. Um, <laughs> As soon as I get some time on my hands, I'm, I'm leaving the country immediately. Um, nice open-ended question there, Dan. <laughs> yep. right. Hey, look, I mean, it's, it's COVID. I know everyone's just itching to get anywhere, and now you got a nice contract. you got some coin. You can go literally anywhere you want. Man, I'll fly to Fresno right now <laughs> if they would allow me to. <laughs> I'm probably, I'm, I'm probably, I'm probably going to head to Germany first. I'm going to drive in the Autobahn. Nice. 
<laughs> there you go. Oh, that'd be awesome. That'd be awesome. Now, now, Brandon Staley, we heard him talk about it on the press conference, and we heard him talk to you when you actually got the call. Uh, I talked a ton about your versatility you bring into the game, being able to line up on the line, able to get spread out wide as a receiver, your great, excellent run blocker. We've heard a lot of things that you do really well. But f- from your perspective, what would you say maybe is your biggest strength? And then on the flip side, what would be maybe the biggest opportunity for improvement that you want to improve on in your game? Um... Definitely my, my biggest strength, I think, is I would say, like, my football IQ, the ability to pick up the game, and also just that versatility he was talking about, just, you know, my ability to do both well in the running game and the passing game. Um, and then something that, you know, I have the most opportunity to improve on. Um, I would say just a little bit of everything, just, like, consistency, um, you know, every aspect of my game, um, you know, make sure to keep my – hands tight in the run game and, you know, take as least steps as possible, come out of breaks and things like that. So just, you know, continuing to be consistent in my play uh, and getting better every day at that. Awesome. Awesome. Now, what do you see yourself bringing to this Chargers tight end group? There's a lot of guys already on the squad. I think you're kind of bringing a different skill set, but what do you maybe bring to this group that maybe folks are sleeping on? Maybe folks don't necessarily realize you're bringing to the group. Um... I don't know. That's a tough one. Uh, I mean, right now, just coming in, bringing a good attitude, ready to work. Um, I know we got a, a vet in Jerry Cook. You know, I want to learn as much as I can from a guy like him. Um, so I'm just really excited to work with the group. Now, I know that this is obviously a fresh new experience for you, Trey, and obviously it's kind of been a whirlwind over the last couple of weeks from getting drafted to now, obviously, you're in Chargers camp there. But in in between all this time, is there any – fun stories or relationships that you've built up in this quick period of time since coming out to LA uh, and obviously being part of mini camps? Um, well, a few guys on the team um, I already, I already knew on um, product coming out here. So uh, talking to those guys, I know uh, Tyree St. Louis, Gabe neighbors, Sante Samuel um, and Derwin James. Um, but the, the rookie class is coming in now together. We've actually kind of clicked really well so far. Um, so getting along with those guys at the hotel um, has been cool. I know the obvious question or answer question would be you're just looking forward to playing <clears throat> to playing games in 2021. But just for you personally, what is it that you're looking forward to the most this upcoming season? I think I mean just basically, I guess besides what you said, um, I guess certain matchups. Um, you know, I mean, these guys that I'm gonna be playing against, I've been watching on TV. You know my whole life and I get to, you know, be on the field with them, share the same field and, you know, go to work. You know, I'm super excited for that opportunity. Now you mentioned all the rookies are gelling really well. Um, Talk to us about some of the personality. I know, you know, Asante Samuel Jr. We actually had him on the show recently. Who's the funniest, who's the biggest personality. Tell us some insider stories. Um, Definitely uh, Chris Rump and uh, Mark Webb. Um, Both of those guys are, are similar as far as like the, the jokesters. Um, and then I think other guys have seen a lot more. I, I got to work out with Chris, uh, in you know, off season training and I was at Georgia with, with Mark. So I know how those guys operate. And, uh, you know, those are probably two, probably the, the, the biggest clowns on the team so far. <laughs> I love it. Awesome. Well, uh, we are going to do, put you on the hot seat here a little bit. You ready for some rapid fire questions as we finish out the segment? Yeah, let's do it. All right, cool. We are talking to Trey McKitty, the newest Los Angeles Chargers tight end. All right, rapid fire. Here we go. Music. What is on Trey McKitty's pregame playlist? Uh, Drake. Just Drake. Drake, yeah. <laughs> there it is. All right. Uh, next category, food. You're stuck on an island with an endless food supply from your favorite restaurant. What restaurant are you picking, and what food are they serving you? Um, it's supposed to be rapid, right? Um, I'm going to go <laughs> Capital Grill. Oh, and what do you get? What are you getting? What beef? Um, porterhouse. I got to get the lobster oh. bisque, too. Yes. Woo. Just imagine after a few days of having porterhouse and lobster bisque, you might not be feeling too good on that island. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Uh, you, bitch, mentioned, man. you mentioned it earlier uh, about the guys you're looking forward to going up against. I'll put you in the spot here. Toughest defender you had to go up against in college and one you are most looking forward to going up against in the NFL? 
Um, uh, I think the guys that I was with um, at my school, like at Florida State, I had to go against Brian Burns every day in practice uh, out in Carolina. So he's a baller. Um, Aziz Ojolari at Georgia. Um, what was the second part of the question? Uh, second part of the question was, who are you most looking forward to going up against on defense um, in the NFL? Um, um, Call your shot. Call your shot. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know whether to choose like a, a, a defensive lineman or a safety, like as far as if I'm going against them as running routes or blocking. So I don't know. Um, week one, I got a pretty good matchup on the D line as a guy that's pretty good out there on the end. Um, I mean, I'm looking forward to week one right now. So, yeah. <laughs> nice. Now, you kind of already touched on this just a second ago, Trey, talking about the favorite personalities of your teammates thus far. How about a coach? Outside of of Kevin, is there is there a coach that you've kind of gelled with personality wise a little bit? Um, I'll say I'll say uh, Arthur, the uh, play development guy. Uh, he's not really like a on field coach, but just definitely someone that I've joked around a little bit so far, and uh, he was a cool guy. Nice. And Dan, since you just so happened to to jack the part of the question that I I was supposed to ask him as oh. far as the the defender in the NFL, I'm gonna I'm gonna take this last one for Trey. Uh, my personal favorite question: preferred movie genre, Trey, horror or comedy, or is it secret answer C and something completely different? So is it so I get to choose something different than horror or comedy? If you want to, yeah, it's yours. Um, I'm gonna say action comedy something that's you know i like to shoot in my movie but i also like to laugh so nice but i do like the suspense of horror i'm a movie guy anyway so it's all for me whatever action there comedy action comedy which one are you picking what movie depends on my oh what, what movie um django nice mic drop moment for trey mckinney i love it i love it trey Good thank you so choice. much for joining we are off the hot seat, you have made it through the rapid fire round. Um, you're in LA. I believe you just signed your contract. What is not you've not yet? Oh, okay, coming soon. When you do, what's the first thing you're wanting to purchase? Um, like first big purchase, or like like a like a. Like it could be, it, it could be a Big Mac. It could be a Big Mac if you want it to be. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm definitely, I'm definitely gonna find. One of the you know good steak houses out here in LA and go and go celebrate the good steak and some wine. There you go, there you go, Trey. Thank you so much for joining us on Chargers Unleashed. What does the next few weeks look like for you? Where can everybody follow you? Um, shoot, I'm gonna be out here working. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Hey, Trey, thank you so much for joining us on Chargers Unleashed. This has been a pleasure. Uh, congratulations on being selected by the Chargers in round three. Cannot wait to see you ball out. Again, you can find Trey on Twitter. You can find him at Trey or sorry, at T underscore McKitty. Trey, thank you again. We'll talk to you soon. Don't be a stranger. You are a friend of the show. Welcome anytime, my friend. Thank no you, Trey. Thank you so much, Trey. Talk to you soon.